Well, it's a sad, sad thing when you look out your front window or any window in your home and you notice you've got a rip in your screen. Not good. Not good at all. This is Let's Fix It with Dan Giles. And today we're going to rescreen this and I'll show you the tools that we're going to use to go through that process. Simple and it's easy. So let's get started. Well, welcome back. In order to rescreen this, what we want to do is there is a like a rubber beading in the in a little channel here on this frame and somewhere in one of the corners or somewhere on there where the two pieces of beading meet is where you want to go and take one of them out so you want to get you a small screwdriver or or anything like that that's small enough to get into that channel and you want to lift that little bead out it's big enough where you can or tall enough where it sticks out enough where you can grab it and then go ahead and take it off. Now you want to be careful with this because you might be able to use it again. And there you go. There's your beading. And like I said, if it's not too dry rotted or breaking up when you go to take it out, it's a good possibility that you can use this again when you put your new screen on. So we'll set that aside. Now we can go ahead and remove the damaged screen and we can throw that away. Alright, now that you've got your screen out, now you want to get the size of what your screen frame is. So what you'll do is you'll just measure, get a rough measurement, get the width, Get the height. Now when you measure this out, when you buy the screen, you want to make sure that you overlap. So you want to add a couple of inches to that measurement, the width and the height. And you can go to your local hardware store, Lowe's or Home Depot, I'm sure, and buy that piece of screen that you measured out, allowing for your overlap. Now, once you have that screen, We've got a piece here that's already cut to size, and as you can see, we've got plenty of overlap all the way around. So now we're ready to put the beading in the channel. I'll show you the tool we're going to use on that. Alright, well one of the things that I wanted to mention to you is that when you take that screen spline, and that's what it's called, spline, when you take it off of the screen and if you notice that it's cracked and wore out and you just don't think you can use it again, don't throw it away just yet. What you want to do is save a piece of it. When you go to the local hardware store or supply house where you're going to go to buy your screen material, you want to bring that piece with you because there are different sizes. So don't throw it away. Be sure you bring a piece with you. Match it up. Make sure you get the right size. Save yourself some trouble in the long run. All right, we've got a close-up of this corner here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the beading that we took out of the screen originally and line it up, make sure that this is the right length so that when we put this in this frame, all the corners match up to what it was when we took it out. And that way it'll go in just like it came out. So you want to make sure you've got the right length. If your screen is square, then I don't guess it's a problem. If it's not square, then you definitely want to make sure that, that you get it measured out so that you make sure you've got the right bead on the right side of the frame. Now you're going to take your beading tool, and this has a little groove in it. And what this does is this goes down into the channel, but the groove actually fits over the little spline, or the, the rubber spine spline. And you will then press it down in there, and you're going to roll it in a little bit at a time. If you have an opener on there, a little tab, you want to make sure that you get around that. You'll repeat that process all the way down the front of the screen.
Now if you do get a little wrinkle in it, pull your little beading out. Straighten up your screen a little bit. Then go ahead and start over. All right, now what you want to do is go ahead and get you a sharp razor and you want to cut this screen back on the outside of the, the little notch and being careful not to go too fast. Make sure you get a good cut. Just take your time and do that all the way around the screen. Well, what do you think? Nice little rescreening job going here. Simple, easy, no big deal. With the right tools, you can do it yourself. I would suggest doing this probably behind closed doors in your home, because if your neighbors know you're doing it, they're going to be calling you to do theirs as well. So, you know, that's up to you. Anyway. This is Dan Giles with Let's Fix It. I hope this is going to be helpful to you. I'll see you soon.